hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys i am going to guide you the issue let me show you the error first and then we will resolve this issue step by step as you can see here your pc ran into a problems and needs to restart and stop code is inaccessible boot device so if you are facing the same issue this video is for you i will show you how to fix it and how to resolve this issue as it is automatically going into the preparing automatic repair loop as you can see here it is asking to so basically I need to turn on my laptop turn off my laptop so now you need to press bootable key or the BIOS key on your laptop I am using Dell laptop so F2 will be the bootable or the BIOS key here and first of all we need to go to here boot configuration and under this option you need to make sure that windows boot manager or the this your SSD is on the top if as you can see here Ubuntu is showing up here so we can make it down like this way and Windows boot manager should be on the top if I have applied this setting and window bootloader isn't down let's apply this fix now save setting as custom user then click on ok and let's go to exit And now I will see if that is able to fix the issue or not. So this is the first step number one to make the boot priority on the top. Okay, so still I'm getting the same error. Inaccessible boot device. So if you are stuck here you can press and hold the power button otherwise you can press F2 key like this and again go to the BIOS option. Now since we have already made the changes in the boot configuration that is good as of now. Now we can go to the date and time here. Date and time should be correct here. Make sure you select date and time correct here and in my case it is already correct one. But if that is not the case you need to make sure that date and time is correct here. Now let's go to storage now and read on is selected here. If your PC is already selected read on so you need to make sure that you need to remember this or we can go to other options here. ASCII works most of the systems. So you can select this option ASCII. Then click on apply changes. Tick this box. If it is unticked like this, tick this box. Then click on OK. And now let's click on exit. And see if our issue is fixed or not. It is still going into the automatic repair. Diagnosing your PC. Checking disk for hours. This might take over an hour. It is showing up. Attempting repairs. Just wait. It took almost 2 to 3 minutes to repair this. But if your window it take it might take 30 to 40 minutes. So now you need to again turn off your PC and press the BIOS key. BIOS key may be different like in HP laptop it could be F10 or escape key. In laptop of Dell it will be F2 key or F12 key. Now from here we need to go to again storage. 
and we have selected that option already so make sure you apply the same settings now if everything is okay and you have tried everything then you can select this option load default just click that option as load default and once you click on load default just save the setting and click on exit and load default will reset all the setting to back to their original defaults and it should fix your issue now if this is also unable to fix your issue guys so i recommend you to run the hardware diagnostic test on your computer and see if there is any missing ssd or any hardware failure you have on your windows so let me show you how to perform in the laptop you need to press f12 key in in order to perform the hardware diagnostic test once computer is completely shut down you can see here diagnostics option just click on this option and click on quick test and let it run this will take around 5 to 10 minutes and will show you the result if any hardware failure you are getting on this screen bios screen if ssd is not showing and that is failure you have to replace that now all tests are passed in my system but in your system there could be any failure on your windows that that means that you have to replace your hardware all the steps i have performed here all the ticks are here so these are the solutions to fix this issue guys and if you are still facing the same issue and ssd is also showing up in the bios I recommend you to reinstall the fresh window on your computer. So I hope this guide helps you. If yes, then hit like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Thanks for watching.